From strength to strength, since over 300 delegates attended this year's Congress of the GAA. This is the first time in the history of the organization that Congress has been held in Wexford. Two issues dominated the gathering. Firstly, the decision to continue the Australian rules football experiment. And secondly, the thorny and often controversial question of commercial sponsorship. Delegates voted by just the narrowest of margins to reverse their three-year-old policy on accepting commercial sponsorship from the major drinks companies. From now on, clubs around the country will again be able to accept the commercial sponsorship for field activities. In his presidential address today, Dr Mick Loftus referred to what many regard as a controversial move. We now have that policy, but before you do enter into any agreements, that you will do it with full realisation of the implications of it, that you just don't open the floodgates. I also asked the president-elect of the organisation for his view on the change. Well, I feel that, again, the GA has been singled out. There are other organisations, sporting uh, bodies, who have uh, accepted this type of sponsorship. Uh, I know that Cumbin and Class Gale will deal with the matter properly. We will control the situation. I am quite happy about that. And it is a matter really of control, and I feel that we have the necessary officials at all levels to control.